So let's get started with a warm up, guys. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do um, a little bit of everything, mostly geared towards the legs, uh, core, and then we're gonna hit the upper body too as well. Um, it's gonna be stationed in almost like a Tabata-like fashion where we're going either 20 or 30 seconds on uh, with a little bit of rest break in between. Uh, we're gonna try to get through at least four good series and uh, see how we do with that. All right, so let's get started with a warm up here. All right, nothing too crazy. Let's just first drop on one knee. Let's get that glute squeeze. Let's get a nice little stretch in that hip flexor there. And then guys, we'll be talking about modifications too. Um, if things feel too easy, too hard, um, feel free to add weights to some of the things we're gonna do as well. All right, so for those of you that are able to kind of get that knee up and down, let's just kind of pulse up and down for eight. If you need to kind of get your hands on your thigh to lift yourself up, that's fine too. And then we're gonna hit the other side. Sweet, let's get that other hip flexor nice and loosened up. Squeeze that glute, lean those hips forward, try not to arch our back. Good, good, good. A few more seconds, hope you guys are having a good Monday so far. All right, let's pulse up for eight. You guys can still hear me okay, seems like we're good so far. Seven, eight, great. All right, so let's stand up. Let's just hit five good squats. Now let's get our arms up in there. Let's try to squeeze those shoulder blades down and back as we do. Arms up, nice. Good, try to sink as deep as you can while keeping that upper body nice and upright. Good, let's go one more. Lovely. All right, we're just gonna do some quick inchworms and then we're getting into it, all right? So nice and slow. Let's try to bend one vertebrae at a time, trying to touch those toes. Good, and then once we feel like we're at that point, let's walk it out into a plank. Hold here for a second. Good, and then come back down. Good, work yourself back upright. We're just gonna do one more of those. Nice, feel that stretch. Walk it out into that plank. Good, and then we'll take it back. All right, so just to get one more in, I'm gonna go through a sideways view here. We're doing more of an active child's pose position. So we're gonna start out in the plank and then just kind of jump back into that child's pose. So it's almost plank position. Nice, try to almost push the ground away from you. Feel the upper part of your shoulders kick in a bit. Good, let's get three more. It's pretty weird when you're talking to everyone, but no one, you can't actually hear anyone talk back. All right, All right. boom, we are in it. All right, so I'm gonna get my timer up. Um, feel free to grab a weight if you guys want. Our first series is gonna be a lunge into push-up to bottom. Um, so what we're gonna do is the rear foot's gonna be elevated. So if you could get access to a couch, a chair, try to get that rear foot elevated, then we're just gonna drop down for our first series. If that's too much, feel free to drop into just a reverse lunge. If you don't wanna tap the knee back, just work on a straight leg back lunge. And if that's still too much, you can even kind of use a table or something just to support the body weight of that lunge as well. All right. Um, all right, so I think we're gonna start with that. And then we're gonna go right into a push-up. If the push-up's too much, we could go modified push-up from the knees. If that still sucks, you guys can just hold that modified push-up position. Uh, just do whatever works best for you. All right, so we're gonna get going. Uh, just follow my lead here, guys, all right? So we are in. So let's start with those rear foot lunges. So we're going for about 20 seconds here. And then on that last rep, we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. So same thing applies if you're in that reverse lunge position, just hold that reverse lunge as far as you can. All right, we're holding this here. Nice, yeah, those quads will be waking up today. Three more seconds, guys. 
Very good. Shake it out real quick. We're gonna jump to that other leg, all right? Get set up here. All right, here we go. Good. Obviously, you're going at your own pace. Make sure we're breathing. Sorry if it sounds like I'm already out of breath. I might be. That's okay. Here we go, three more seconds. Hope you guys can still see me okay. And we're holding. Good, embrace the hold. Breathe through the hold. Very good. Two, one, nice. All right, 10 seconds here, guys. We're gonna drop and get ready for our push-ups. All right, in two seconds, here we go. We're just going for 20 seconds. Obviously, if you don't like these, you could do them from your knees. If those still stink, you can even just work on holding that position or holding that plank position. Almost there, guys. Five more seconds. Very good. All right. Five more seconds here. Let's get set up back into those lunges. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna hit three series of these each way, so almost halfway there. Here we go, 10 more seconds of lunges. All right, let's hold that now, 10 seconds. Start to feel that burn in the quad. Two, one, beautiful. Let's get ready to switch legs. In about five seconds, you guys are still good over there. Got a few hellos, what's up, what's up? All right, let's get back in it. Good, control that pace. Like, like we said earlier, you could go into just regular reverse lunges. You go into just toe taps as well. Only hold as low as you feel comfortable with. Let's go into that hold. Three, two, one. All right. Yeah. All right, a few more seconds here, guys. These guys are still good. Chad is with us. Good to know. Two more seconds. Let's go right into our push ups. Here we go. Don't feel like you have to go too fast with these. I want you guys to get in that full range of motion. Nice. All right, 10 seconds, guys. One more round each way. Three more seconds, we're going for lunges. Here we go. I want you guys to uh, start thinking of the question of the day here, as we got about five more seconds with our active lunge. All right, let's hold it. What is the world record for longest plank hold? You guys got an answer, throw it in the chat. All right, quick little break here, guys, before we switch it up. Definitely sweating already, not surprised. All right, here we go. We're dropping down. All right, if you guys are starting to get a little discomfort with the depth, just control your depth. Use the walls if you need support or any table or counter nearby. Here we go, three more seconds, guys. All right, we're holding this. Give you guys a hint, the plank hold is longer than an hour. Two more seconds. Whew, good. All right, quick little break. We got push-ups in four seconds, here we go. And we're back in it. Hopefully you guys have some music on so you're not hearing my deep, 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 deep breathing. Good, four more seconds. Beautiful. All right, that's series one. Get some water if you need to. 
We're gonna take a quick 30 to 30 to 60 second break here as we get set up for our next one. We're doing all right. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do, guys, is gonna be a bridge series with a little bit of kind of alternate plank to form. So the plank to form exchange is gonna look like this. Try to stay as stable as possible. If that sucks, you guys can still do it from your knees. If you still don't like that, you guys can just work some shoulder taps, either from the knees up or knees down on the ground. And then we're gonna go into a little single leg bridge, but um, feel free to do a double leg bridge, marching bridge, whatever works for you. All right, 10 more seconds here. Turn up that music a little bit. We're gonna start with our bridges first. All right, three, two, one. All right, we're bridging. Here we go. Really try to extend those hips up, trying to keep that knee, shoulder, and hip in that same line. Don't let that right hip drop. Try to keep your head supported if you can. All right, two more seconds, guys. Let's switch it up. We're going right into this one here. No breaks since we're just switching legs. But we'll take a break before we do the uh, plank push-up exchange. Good, really try to get those hips as high as you can. Love you. All right, a few seconds here. Now we're gonna go right into our uh, plank push-up exchanges, okay? All right, here we go. We are in it. Good, try to alternate which arm you're pushing up with. So we get a little bit of both. A little bit of left side, a little bit of right side. Five more seconds. Very good. And I guess second question of the day, I'm throwing two questions at you. What does strong side signify, signify remember the Titans? Right back into our bridges. You know, it's that insane scene where, you know, Bertier and Julius go back and forth. Left side, strong side. But what does strong side actually mean? Let's switch it up. I think I have an idea. Good, 10 more seconds. Almost there, two more. Good. That was definitely not the strong side. All right, a few more seconds here, guys. We're going right into uh, plank push-up holds, and we're in it. We are in it. Good. Try to keep those hips as stable. Remember, if we don't like these, we can do these from the knees. We could just work on an individual shoulder tap, just as such. So, I feel like you have to be locked in three more seconds. Good. All right, guys. Quick turnaround here. We got one more round each way. All right, we're bridging. Let's go. Good, get the caboose off the ground. Hips high. Been taking uh, classes with Sam Robin. She's been kicking my butt with these. All right, the other side, right into it. But they're good for you, so we persevere. Five more seconds. All right, a few more seconds here. We're going into our final round of plank to push-up exchanges. All right, we're in it. Good. Alternating each side. Hips nice and stable. Requires us to engage the core a little bit more. Four more seconds. All right. 
All right, take a break there, guys. We're doing well. We're halfway through. Ooh. Wow. Is anyone else breathing heavy? I mean, it could just be me, that's fine. All right, right, round of two questions. World we'll record for plank, and which side is strong side? I was talking to someone the other day, I forget who it was, and I remember the time, this was one of my favorite movies of all time, probably number one. And he came up to me, he's like, yeah, uh, most of that movie was not based on true events, which was just earth shattering for me, but still number one. All right, so you guys still okay? Very good. Um, sorry guys, get my timer up. So the next series here, we're gonna incorporate a little bit of a wall sit into a bear crawl. Now the wall sit, right, nothing crazy. We're just going against the wall holding. If we don't like that, totally fine to do squats for 30 seconds as well. The bear crawl is gonna be rotational, all right? So what that means is, for one direction, we're gonna go up, side, down, across the other side, all right? We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Now, if we don't like that, you can just work on going up and back. Up and back, just from a side view. Knees are off the ground. And if we still don't like that, we can just work on getting a nice little bird dog situation going. So, choose what suits best for you. We are going into it in four seconds. We're starting with our wall set. All right, here we go. Yeah. You might feel the quads later on today. 30 seconds here, guys. Nice and slow, try to find that 90 degree angle, whatever depth that works well for you. Ten more seconds. All right, almost there. Almost there. Very good. Whew. All right, let's give yourself a few seconds here before we go into the bear call. We're going what I call strong side first. All right, here we go. Strong side, we're going to the right. Good, keep the steps small, keep the back straight, and you'll be okay. And you wanna almost move in diagonals, right? So if my right hand's moving back, my left leg should be going with it. If my right arm's moving up, left leg should go with it. 10 more seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, well done. Well done. We're going back into our wall sit, and then we're gonna hit it the other way. Sorry again for the obnoxious breathing. Try my best. All right, guys. Wall sits might get, start to get a little more challenging. Totally feel free to go into your squat any depth you'd like. We're halfway through this wall sit here. Control the depth of your wall sit to make it more or less comfortable. Five more seconds. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, okay. Beautiful, so this time we're going left side with our bear crawl around the world. All right, here we go. Remember, opposite hands doing the motion. If you use more of your right arm, the left leg last time to perform it, try to go the other way with left arm, right leg, which clearly is a little harder for me to do. 10 more seconds. Almost there. And one last one. All right. So on deck, we got one more round each way. We're getting there. We're getting there. Three more seconds. We're sitting. Here we go. Wow. Quads are there. Every time I do a wall sit, I think of that scene from uh, Drumline when they're just in the rain, probably making it seem like they've been holding the wall sit for four hours. 
Got the drums on. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Almost there. Three more seconds. Ooh. That was a good one. Okay, guys, we're going back to the right side. And then we got one more round each way. Here we go. Strong side. You control the speed, but you only go as fast as the body allows. If you feel like your hips are shaking all over the place, we gotta tone it down. We got about 10 more seconds, guys. Five. Beautiful. We're getting there. All right. Wall set, and then we're taking it to the left. Here we go with our wall set. But yeah, just thank you guys for, uh, for tuning in so far. I know we got a lot of people, different parts of the East Coast, tuning in. Much appreciated. 10 more seconds here, guys. Hope you appreciate these wall sets. Even though I kind of feel like crap right now, three more seconds, and we're up. Ugh. All right, guys, almost there. We're going to the left in five seconds. Here we go. Ah. Good. Take it slow. Make sure we're moving alternate arm, alternate leg. When we kind of move in the up and down direction, when you're going side to side, totally fine to go same arm, same leg. We're getting there. Five more seconds. Whew. All right. All right. We're doing well. We're doing well. We have one more series left, guys. Whew. Grab some water if you need to. Make sure you guys can still see me. All right. We're doing well. Anyone listen to any Pearl Jam over there? Any Pearl Jam fans? I don't know if you guys saw Saturday, Eddie Vedder just kind of using the broom as an instrument the first time I've seen that. That's pretty cool. All right, a few more seconds here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a set of five of a RDL with a little bit of rotation. We're gonna do a set of six, a little side plank, a little thread the needle. And then we're gonna do nine of a plank with kind of alternate arm raises. So I'm calling it the five, six, nine. Why the five, six, nine? Uh, sounds better than five, six, 10. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go into it. So we'll take these RDLs nice and slow. All right, here we go. Five each side, we're gonna reach down. All right, and when you're turning, you're turning from your hip up towards oh, the wall. Bring it back down, come back up. Same thing, nice and slow. The key is to see if we can really stay stable after doing some of that leg work we hit before. You can kind of synchronize the arm and the leg, really make sure we're rotating, bringing that hip up and then snapping that left hip back. For all you swimmers out there, I know this is an important motion connecting from that hip, which I definitely don't do. Um, let me give you guys a little sideways view. For the left side, let's switch it up. Let's open it up, oh, and then bring it back. I know we got some swimmers in the house, so don't judge me on my hip mobility here. I'm trying. Three more. Open up that hip. Good, bring that hip back. Two more, it might feel a little pull in that right groin. That's totally cool. All right, one more here. Open up, bring it back down. 
bring it back down. All right, so we're gonna go into the side plank. So you can hold it from your knees, you can hold it from the feet. All we're doing is sweeping through, coming up. If we don't like holding this from our feet, feel free to go straight to the knees. We're going six each way. Only rotate as far as you feel comfortable. Two more. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn my back to you here for the other six. Sorry about that. Three more. All right, and so what we're gonna do here now for nine reps each way is holding a plank from our forearms and trying to alternate a reach while keeping our hips nice and stable. If we don't like this, we could do it from our knees or we could even do a shoulder tap. So I'm gonna start my nine. One, two, keep that core nice and stable. Four, definitely sweating. Six, seven, eight, nine, beautiful. All right, we're doing one more of that. We got time for one more. Oh, we might be pushing it tight. I think we got time for one more though. Let's go into it nice and quick. Here we go. Rotate up and come back. Very good. Don't feel like you have to rush it with these guys. Clearly the fatigue is starting to sit in for me here. Two more. Get down, feel that pull in the hamstring. Rotate from that hip and use that hip to kind of pull yourself back up. All right, other side. Here we go. We're getting there. Three more here, guys. Really rotate from that hip. Two more. Last one, last one. Ooh, beautiful. All right, let's chop into those side plank rotations. One for six. Good. Really try to let your eyes follow your hands. Two more. All right, let's switch it up. Hope you guys are still doing okay. Hope you're still with me. Hopefully you guys are getting somewhat of the sweat going over there. Two more. All right, final exercise, guys. Going for nine. Eight and nine. Wow. All right, guys. Well done. Well done. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys got somewhat of a workout in. Uh, clearly, I did. 